Hello, welcome to Citizens Forum. It is Wednesday, December the 4th. I'd like to start by thanking our volunteer crew and the Shaw staff. And amongst our volunteer crew, I especially want to thank Will Smith today for mm, so much great work. Um, my guest in the first segment is uh, Darren Alexander. We're going to be talking about um, uh, Tenants' rights, I guess. Darren is a uh, social and environmental activist and uh, writer, and you're involved with a group called the Victoria Precarious Tenants Association. So, it's an interesting story. Let's let's uh, start it. it. It it is an interesting story. For me, this started. I'm a renter, have been all my life. And uh, I have a family with two uh, wife and two young kids. We rent. Um, we've been tossed around in this renting housing, this housing crisis as a result. So we've experienced it firsthand. And um, I'm from Toronto originally. And in Toronto, you know, it's a big city that's seen this kind of crisis kind of come in a big way. And, so there's tenants union there, there's, there's some activists working on the case, and so I have some background uh, an understanding of what a tenants advocacy group can, can and should be doing. Um, given what was happening in Victoria, about a year and a half ago, our neighbor was being wrongfully evicted, and um, we tried to find him some help. Now, anybody in, in Victoria knows that there's typically one place you can go for that kind of support, and that's TAPS, Together Against Poverty. They have a legal advocate there who works for tenants' rights, tenant, on tenants' issues. Um, but they were overwhelmed by this crisis, and they couldn't really help. And um, you would hear reference to this Victoria Tenants Action Group, TAPS, had a hand in the creation of the Victoria Tenants Action Group. And so there was this group in town, and presumably that's where you could go for help. Well, I reached out to the Victoria Tenants Action Group. First, I think it was by email and got no response. And eventually I went, there was an open house that they had advertised and a chance to meet them. And I went and I met with them and I introduced myself and I brought forward ideas and suggestions and proposal to volunteer. Um, nobody ever followed up. I could go through my emails and show you probably a dozen emails, efforts to connect with these people. Nothing ever worked for me. And I thought, you know, I, I thought it was strange at the time. Well, lo and behold, I didn't know, but my wife at the same time had been reaching out to VTAG. <laughs> She's also an activist in her own right. And we're busy, and uh, we didn't c communicate on this one, but she knew she was also trying to help our neighbor. And, and, um, and then so we got together and we compared notes, and it's like, oh, you, you've also been getting no answer from VTAG. Uh, well, that's what happened, with, so what's going on? That's what, where the story kind of begins for me. Um, this organization holding the place, uh, they call themselves the Victoria Tenant Action Group not only were they not acting on behalf of tenants to defend tenants' rights or support tenants in, in difficult situations in the worst housing crisis ever this, this city has ever seen, but they weren't even responding to your... To people who wanted to help to them. To people who wanted to help yeah. them or to people who needed help. Yeah. So it was a horribly frustrating and confusing situation. Now, I, I have to say that I'm sure if we had somebody from the group on or somebody else, they might give a different story. Well, they, they, yeah. they have. I've reached out to them. So I'm, put, I'm writing this story now. And uh, in my effort to write this story, I've asked to interview everybody involved. I should say that most people involved have chosen not to come forward. And they've been disagreeable to interviewing. Uh, and it's apparent to me why. But let's just say that they will tell you that they were having a crisis of their own. And that crisis of their own centered around one of their original born members who they claim to have been disrupting their organization to the point where they were unable to function as an organization. This is what they claim. Well, 
I, that person is one person who I've been able to talk to, and I've been able to get a lot of information from him. He was the only Indigenous member of the group, and he was one of the founding board member, one of three founding board members of VTAG. And here's what happened, and why they were in s having so much trouble, was that this fellow noticed early on in the development of Victoria Tenant Action Group, about kind of s few months after they were created with the help of TAPS, they took on a project. And that project wasn't about trying to find a way to help renters on the ground who were in crisis who needed help, but rather it was a research project. And they called it the Municipal Electors Mobilization uh, MIRM, Municipal Electors um, Mobilization something. Uh, r uh, m municipal, hold on, el Election Renters Mobilization. Okay. So there's a little background to this. Ben Isett, a little before, had, had recognized that there's 60% renters in Victoria. And, um, and that if you wanted to get a municipal candidate in the door, probably it suited you to, to, to get engaged, engaged with renters, especially in this time of crisis. Well, they seem to have modeled themselves on this. And what they did was they used VTAG through the MIRM campaign as a way to gain access to renters and to promote a certain slate of candidates. And what I uncovered in my research into this subject, by poking around, asking questions, and also being fed information, is that it was the Together Victoria group who were behind the MIRM campaign. They were very much behind the creation of VTAG, and they were steering this whole effort. In other words, this is how I like to think of it now, is what I've come to see is that VTAG, if, 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 the, um, if VTAG was there, was the, um, was the tool, then uh, the, uh, sorry, if the, the, they used the MIRM campaign. And the MIRM campaign was a research campaign. Well, which had some money, I guess, was, to do was some about, research. Yeah, they got, they got a bit of money and, um, and $15,000. And they put that into this MIRM campaign. And what happened, what this MIRM campaign, if you look at it, you'll see that it, the, the evidence that the MIRM's campaign ends up supporting or sorry, not the evidence, but the, but the portrayal that comes out of the data that they got from the MIRM campaign, listed those contenders from Together Victoria, Sarah Potts, Shemarke Dubot, and Laurel Collins on top of the list as those, those candidates who were going to best apply themselves to renters' concerns. Do you see? Yeah. Kind of a funny coincidence and no proof just yet, <laughs> just based on what I've shared with you, but I can, um, I can assure you that we have all kinds of evidence um, in terms of paperwork that shows the collusion between VTAG, Together Victoria, the, the personnel, the people involved. So um, are you saying in the end, this is uh, in part a municipal electors group, which is tied into being a tenants group and so they can say we're a tenants group and vote for us. Using the, the tenants group just to launch a candidacy at, w with, the, with the sensibility or, the, or giving people the impression that these are tenants advocates, these are renting, renters yeah. advocates, who? these are activists who are already working on housing. And the case is, no, they're not. They are people who get a contract to do a research job somewhere here. They are people who, who kind of move between different um, municipal arms length bodies and committees, and they have roles. Um, they, they, the same people remarkably show up time and time and time again. And just to give you one example, so, Let's just go to last Saturday. It was November 30th. It was the first AGM of VTAG. Why was it the first AGM after th on nearly three years since they, since they, since they 
founded themselves? Good question. We would suggest that it was because, or they would suggest that it was because they were disrupted by this fellow, this founding member. We would suggest that it was because they didn't want to get caught out on what it was they were doing or not doing. In other words, what they were doing was promoting a together victorious slate of candidates. What they weren't doing were helping renters. Now, why did they have trouble with this fellow, the founding member of VTAG? Well, at the AGM that took place on Saturday, just passed, he was completely shut down and evicted with security from the AGM. When I was there in my capacity as a journalist trying to ask questions, they did everything in their power to shut me down until finally they insisted that I had to turn off my recording device and finally I needed to leave. And what was this all about? Well, the disruption that they talk about is when the founding member, who I won't name as I'm not naming anybody during the course of this interview, called them out at the time and said, I did not sign on to this society. I did not put my name on these records. I did not become a founding member of VTAG to create an organization that's going to promote a slate of candidates who pretend to be your best housing advocates. At the time, he was saying that, and they didn't like that. And they called him abusive. They started calling him a neo-Nazi. They call them every name you can imagine, and I've got a paper trail of that to show you too, how low they have gone in order to try and evict this fellow and to quiet him and shush him down. Darren, we're out of time. I know, so and I hope that was an intriguing story for all of you. It's, uh, you know, it, it, to me it's interesting, and I mean, we're getting one side of the story. Of course. But it's interesting to see that something that everybody would na naturally trust you know, there's questions. Darren, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, folks, for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.